you will hear a man phoning to inquire about a job vacancy. First, you have some time to look at questions one to four. You will see that there is an example that has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Good evening, King's Restaurant. Uh, good evening. I'm ringing about the job I understand you have vacant. Oh, yes. The job vacancy is at a restaurant. So, a restaurant has been written in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to four. Good evening, King's Restaurant. Uh, good evening. I'm ringing about the job I understand you have vacant. Oh, yes. I'd like to find out a few more details, if I may. Yes, of course. Can I take your name? It's Peter Chin. OK, Peter. Well, if you want to ask about the job, and then if we're both still interested, we could arrange for you to come for an interview. <laughs> <laughs> Great, thanks. I'm afraid I missed the advert for the job, but heard about it from a friend. That's no problem at all. What would you like to know? Well, um, what sort of work is it? Washing up? It's answering the phone. Oh, right, fine. And not waiting at table. That'd be good. And how many nights a week would it be? Well, we're really only busy at the weekend. So, two nights? Three, actually. So it would work out at 12 hours a week. That'd be fine. It wouldn't interfere with my studies. Are you at the university? Yes. First year physics student. Oh, right. Um, and because I'm not an EU national, would I need a work permit? Yes, you would. Just get your tutor to sign it. That wouldn't be a problem if I were to get the job. Um, where exactly is the restaurant? Well, we have two branches. The one we're recruiting for is in Hillsdon Road. Uh, I don't know that. Uh, how do you spell it, please? It's H I L L. S D U double N E Road. Got that. Thanks. Is it near a bus stop? Yes. The nearest one would probably be just beside the library. Oh, yes, I know it. That'd be fine for me. And could I ask about the pay? We're offering £4.45 an hour. That's very good. My last job was £3.95 an hour. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 5 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 5 to 10. We feel it's pretty good and we also offer some good fringe benefits. Really? Well, we give you a free dinner, so you eat well. Right. Better than hostel food. <laughs> we certainly hope so. And we also offer extra pay for working on national holidays. Oh, well, that's a really good perk, isn't it? Yes, we think so. And then, because of the difficulties of getting public transport, if you're working after 11 o'clock, we drive you home. Oh, that's good to know. Well, we'd certainly be interested in inviting you for an interview, if you're still interested. Oh, yes, certainly. Could I just also ask what qualities you're looking for? Well, for this particular job, we want a clear voice, which you obviously do have. <laughs> Thanks. 
And you must be able to think quickly, you know. Well, I hope I. So when could you come in for an interview? We're actually quite quiet tonight. Uh, sorry, I couldn't come tonight or tomorrow. I'm afraid. Uh, Thursday's okay. That'd be twenty second of October. Fine. After five p.m. Yes, fine. Would six o'clock be okay? Perfect. And could you bring along the names of two referees? Yes, that's fine. No problem. Good. I look forward to seeing you. Oh, uh, by the way, who should I ask for? Oh yes, of course. Sorry, my name is Samira Manuja. Uh, can you spell that, please? M A N U J A. Okay, I've got that. Thanks very much. Look forward to seeing you later on then. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to part two. You are going to hear somebody giving an introductory talk about a course of lessons at a summer school. You now have forty-five seconds in which to look at part two. Good morning. I'd like to welcome you to Trinity College. It's good to see so many new faces here today. Although I'm sure most of you are feeling a little lost at the moment, I'm here to give you plenty of information about the college generally and about the course, and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions at the end. At this campus, we teach English, literature, history, archaeology, art history, and music. For you, the history students, most of your seminars will be held from nine to twelve thirty in rooms two hundred and one and ninety-five. There is always a coffee break at ten thirty for twenty minutes, though. Many of your lecturers teach here at the college all year round, although we have some very talented visiting lecturers who will just be here for the eight-week course that you are following. In the afternoons, there will be many field trips, which will include castles, museums, and stately homes. The highlight of this is always the trip to the British Museum on Saturday, the fifth of July. This museum is particularly famous for the Parthenon marbles and the Egyptian mummies, which are an important part of our course and so must be seen. The canteen is open daily from twelve to two thirty p.m. and again from five to eight p.m. Although on Fridays it closes at seven p.m., there are also recreational facilities in the leisure centre. These are available every day and are all free, with the exception of the aerobic classes. I recommend that you take advantage of the excellent sports facilities here, particularly the Olympic-sized swimming pool. If any of you have any problems with your accommodation, which I think is highly unlikely. You can find the accommodation officer in room sixteen in Western House. Her name is Mrs. Grosvenor, and she will be pleased to help you. Now, if there are any questions, now's the time to ask them.
You will hear the piece again. Good morning. I'd like to welcome you to Trinity College. It's good to see so many new faces here today, although I'm sure most of you are feeling a little lost at the moment. I'm here to give you plenty of information about the college generally and about the course, and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions at the end. At this campus, we teach English literature, history, archaeology, art history, and music. For you, the history students, most of your seminars will be held from 9 to 12.30 in rooms 201 and 95. There is always a coffee break at 10.30 for 20 minutes, though. Many of your lecturers teach here at the college all year round, although we have some very talented visiting lecturers who will just be here for the eight-week course that you are following. In the afternoons, there will be many field trips, which will include castles, museums and stately homes. The highlight of this is always the trip to the British Museum on Saturday the 5th of July. This museum is particularly famous for the Parthenon marbles and the Egyptian mummies, which are an important part of our course and so must be seen. The canteen is open daily from 12 to 2.30pm and again from 5 to 8pm although on Fridays it closes at 7 p.m. There are also recreational facilities in the leisure centre. These are available every day and are all free with the exception of the aerobic classes. I recommend that you take advantage of the excellent sports facilities here, particularly the Olympic-sized swimming pool. If any of you have any problems with your accommodation, which I think is highly unlikely, you can find the accommodation officer in room 16 in Western House. Her name is Mrs Grosvenor, and she will be pleased to help you. Now, if there are any questions, now's the time to ask them. That is the end of part two.